Hi, it's me again, and it's not often I can come to you in one of these videos and say the BBC has done something right. Well, in this case, they have. Have a look at this headline and we'll talk about it. Brickbox pulls nuclear disaster film threads ahead of Ukraine war after it gives viewers nightmares. Now, have you ever heard of this threads thing? Now, a friend gave it to me about 10 years ago, I think, and I watched it, and it was one of the most horrific things I'd ever seen. I can't believe it was even on Brickbox to start with. If you haven't seen Threads, if you've got a bit of a stomach for it, have a look. What it is, is a documentary made by the BBC, a sort of dramatised documentary about what would happen if a nuke hit England. I think it was based in Sheffield. And, um, oh, it was awful. It was harrowing. Harry kept me up at night, and I, I like stuff like that normally. I'm a dystopian kind of guy. God, it was awful. If you haven't seen it and you've got the stomach for it, have a look. You'll find it. It is available online. But blooming awful. The apocalyptic drama left people so terrified it was rarely repeated on the BBC after it was first aired in 1984. It did, however, land on Brickbox until earlier this year, and clips of the film also emerged on TikTok with people saying that they can't believe it was ever broadcast on telly. Yeah, I can't believe it was ever broadcast on the telly either. It was terrible. And not just the bit where the new kit and the prepping for it. I think they cut to like a few years later. It's been a while since I watched it, but I'm pretty sure it said like five years later or something went black and then came back in to the dystopian land that is now Sheffield. And it was shocking. It was like the dark ages, but it was, yeah, it was bad. I, mean, I can't believe the BBC made it. I mean, talk about propaganda. That was, that was just plain blooming awful. One comment from a user read, to think they showed this in schools in the 80s. No wonder 80s kids were hard as nails. Well, I was at school in the 80s and I don't remember ever being shown it. I only watched it, as I say, it's a good few years ago now. A friend gave me a copy of it. And I, oh God, it's not something I'm going to rush back to watch it. I still have the copy of it, but it's not something I'm going to rush back to watch it. When it first aired on BBC Two, it was the night Britain didn't sleep. So shocked were the people that had tuned in. It aired once again the following year and didn't make it back on screen until 18 years later. It was also released on DVD and aired once more on telly in 2005. One viewer said after watching it, recently watched this for the first time and it absolutely terrified me. I'm a student, born in 87, but it's still harrowing to see places that are recognisably Sheffield and hear the voices that could have been me and my mates completely obliterated by nuclear war. Another viewer said, I saw this film in 84 and it scared the hell out of me. The next time I saw it was 20 years later, it was on BBC Four. I couldn't believe it. I had to watch it again to see those images that have stayed with me all those years. So yeah, I just wanted to bring you this video quickly because, you know, I watched it a few years ago and then completely forgot about it. I cannot believe this thing was even on Brickbox. Oh, God, it is, it is pretty bad. It's, it's harrowing is the word. I would use. If you haven't seen it, you go and check it out. But I mean, it is quite disturbing. And this is me. I like The Purge and I like killing movies and I like dystopian futures. But yeah, it's harrowing. Harrowing was the word. So fair play to the BBC pulling it off Brickbox. But I can't believe it was even on there in the first place. So did you see Threads back in the 80s or have you seen it since? Let me know what you think about it because yeah, not, not a fan myself. I like dystopian stuff, but that was a bit much. A bit much even for me, that one. But let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Or if you're going to go and look for it, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.